Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. I'm Eric Rochero, your host. Another DIY project here. I'm gonna put some wooden blinds in these windows and I thought I'd make a video and show you guys how to do it. There's a couple things you need to pay attention to when ordering and installing blinds. I've learned from, let's just call it experience. Uh, but another DIY project, if I can do it, you can do it. Ready? Here we go. Most of the time you're gonna be ordering blinds at a store or online and you're gonna to have to provide some measurements. Uh, learn from my mistakes here, okay? You want to measure your window, the width of it, in at least three places. I suggest the bottom, the middle, and the top. And the reason we're doing this is we want to find the narrowest width of the window opening. Because you don't want to install blinds that you just measured down here, and then maybe the trim bows in halfway up. So then when you drop your blinds and they get stuck, it's a bad thing. Again, learn from me someone that's done that. So you want to, you could even just kind of move this all the way up looking for the narrowest width and that is the number that you provide to the blind uh, ordering uh, people. You also want to measure from top to bottom. That's a little more straightforward. You go to the top, measure all the way to the bottom. That number is pretty straightforward. All right, your blinds have been delivered and if you have more than one window you're doing you're probably wondering which blinds go where because a lot of the windows are similar, but the dimensions might be slightly different. Uh, the blind company that I ordered these from puts a label right in here with the dimensions that you gave for that window. So if you wrote those all down somewhere on a piece of paper, left window is this, right window is that, you can correspond to this. You're also going to get a bag of hardware. Now, usually you'll use all the hardware that's in here. Sometimes they confuse you and put more hardware in here than you need because the hardware kit maybe applies to a couple different ways to mount the blinds. If all else fails, read directions. I mean, watch Garden Fork, of course, but then maybe read the directions. This is your mounting bracket. There are two of them for every blind, and they will have a little hinge here. This is going to go up into here, but we don't want it to be smack against the window. We want it to be slightly out away from the window. And the reason for that is, is this, the window lock. A lot of times this is left out and if it's left out the blinds will hit that out, that unlocked door lock thing. Because we have that gap between the window and the bracket, this comes down, goes right past that door lock. So what I use is either a piece of cork or a piece of scrap wood, there's about three quarter inch wide piece of scrap wood. So we use our little spacer and then we put this here and that will make it such that the bracket is three quarters of an inch away from the window. Take the piece of wood out and now you've got a nice gap between your bracket and your window. These tabs on the ends of the blinds are for in case your blinds are just a little too short for the window, you can bend these out and they will snug up against the brackets and make the blind fit better in your window. Can I do this one-handed and point the camera at the same time? Goes in. Be careful not to get the first blind blade stuck in the bracket like that, like I just did. So then this front thing that's hinged goes down and snaps like that. Again over here, like that. I'm not quite sure which is the top and bottom of the valance, but this is your valance. And on the back of it are going to be some little marks, hopefully. And then these plastic brackets go right where that is. So on this brand, I take this and I put it in the slot like that. It's lined up with the arrow. And then I turn it and it's set to go. Um, keep track of these. I lost one. I have to find it now. Found the other bracket. That's always good. These snap in. They're um, little slots here that this plastic grabs into. Uh, your brand might be different, but this works pretty good. Um, and that valance is not wide enough. Wow. 
Uh oh. That's a bad thing. Okay, found the right one. So again, just put the notches there. I mean, rack. Oh, I forgot. Put in our control rod. Put this control rod in here. Oh, wait a minute. It's the wrong color. All right, I'm gonna figure out the color issue, but nonetheless, blinds, they fit nice. They didn't bind anywhere. Again, measure at least three places to make sure you don't have like a pinch point in your window, but you can do this. It's like bing, bang, boom. Uh, if you're going into drywall on the sides, usually there's a stud behind there. If not, you can put an anchor. Um, but drill a test hole first because sometimes the stud might be spaced behind the drywall a little bit. But anyway, this is wood and wood trim, so good. It went in pretty nicely. Remember, uh, just bring the bracket off the window a little bit so you don't hit the window lock if the window lock is left open. But I like this. Uh, if you like what you're seeing here, we do these shows every week and you can hit the subscribe button. It's free to subscribe. I put out new stuff every week. You can also sign up for Eric's email newsletter. There's a link in the show notes right below here. Hopefully there's a link button somewhere on the screen here as well. And also just go to our site. There's a bunch more cool stuff there that doesn't make it onto YouTube. Gardenfork.tv is our website. Gardenfork.tv. All right. Make it a great day. Tell me what you think. Comments, questions, have you put up lines? What have you learned? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks.